everyone. Uh, hello. It's recording. All right. Hello, everyone. And today we're gonna be going over. Uh, I. By the way, before we get started, I back here a couple months ago, I did a video on all the bugs and fish in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and uh, I didn't get to do the sea creatures one because my I lost my island for a little bit, and I got it back about uh, I think it was on March 22nd. I got it back. So. Now I have it back, I got all the sea creatures, and I actually got them a long time ago, I just haven't made a video about it, and I finally just sat down today, I'm like, you know what, I haven't done that video, so I'm just like, hey, I'll just record it. So that's what I'm doing, so let's get started. So basically in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to go through every single sea creature, and telling you how to catch them all, uh, I'll be going through the cell price, the shadow size, and uh, when it's available, so let's get started. So, uh, yeah, Critterpedia, and, uh, let's go over to sea creatures. Alright, here we go. So, I got them all. There's only 40 sea creatures, and there's 80 fish and 80 bugs. There's, like, two screens of those, too. Uh, so, but there are only 40 fish, so there's about, or 40 sea creatures, so about half. So, I don't think this video will be an hour long, the others will be, uh, or were. So, let's get started. So, first up, we got seaweed. Now, seaweed, this is the easiest one to get by far. It's very annoying. It's pretty much the sea bass of the uh, um, sea creatures. And it's um, seaweed is available all day. It is uh, available all day. And uh, you can get it in the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere. And um, January, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Okay. And then uh, it is a large shadow and sells for 600 bells and looks cranny. Uh, pretty ba easy to get. You're not going to have much trouble finding this unless you're trying to find it in August or September in the Northern Hemisphere or March or uh, or February, March in the Southern Hemisphere. So keep that in mind. Uh, next, we got sea grapes. I remember these things. Sea grapes, very annoying. When they are available, the only real issue about these is when they're available. They're only available in four months of the year. They're available um, f f all day long in the months of June, July, August, and September in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, and uh, or yeah, d January, February, March, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, they are medium shadow size in the ocean, and they sell for 900 bells at Nook's Cranny. So that's sea grapes. Next we got sea cucumber. Sea cucumber, uh, pretty common as well. There's a lot of ones down here that are really common, and then you have the really rare ones. This one shouldn't be too bad to find. Uh, as long as you look for a little bit, you'll eventually find one. Um... They're available all day long in the months of January, February, March, April, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere. And um, May, June, July, August, September, and October in the Southern Hemisphere. So, with that in mind, they sell for 500 bells in Nook's Cranny, and they are a medium shadow size. Uh, so, not too bad, but there are a lot better options out there for sea creatures. Next, we got the Sea Pig. The sea Pig, um get this thing. I don't really remember getting this too much. I think this is one of the rarer ones. Uh, you can get it from, it is catchable from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. in the months of January, February, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere and May, June, July, and August in the Southern Hemisphere. So they, a little bit spread out. Um, they are medium shadow size and they sell for 8,000 bells in Nooks and Cranny. That is a lot. 8,000? Jeez. So, from the looks of the price, this is definitely one of the rare ones. I, I don't only caught a few handful of these ones, though. So, they are a little bit rare. Uh, next, we got the Sea Star. Sea Star. Uh, you can get this thing all day long in the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere. And January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh... It is available, it is a medium shadow, and sells for 500 bells in Nook's Cranny. This is also another really common one. You probably have this by now. Hopefully, unless you're just starting out, but yeah, it's a sea star. Moving on to row two, we have the sea urchin. Sea urchin. This one's pretty easy to get also. It is available 
um, all day in the months of May, June, July, August, and September in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, so, it is a medium shadow size and sells for 1,700 bells in Mixcranny, so not too bad. Uh, this thing is also one of the other common ones, not too hard to find, um, if you're really looking for it. Um, I mean, some of these, they're all random, so you don't know what you're going to get, but just some of them are way more common than others. Um, but most of the time, just keep in mind, when you're looking for something, you're going to have a, a harder time finding it than if you're not looking for it. So, just look for something else and you'll catch the sea urchin, so yeah. Uh, next, we got the slate pencil urchin. So the slate, slate pencil urchin uh, can be caught from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. in the months of May, June, July, August, and September in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, it is a large shadow size and sells for 2,000 bells in Nook's Cranny, so this is one of the rarer ones. Uh, slightly rare. It's not over-the-top rare like some of the other ones are, but it's it can be problematic in some cases because sometimes it does Sometimes this thing just doesn't want to show up. So yeah. That's sleep pencil urge. Next up we got the sea anemone. Now the sea anemone you can get this thing. Uh, this thing is very common. You probably already have this one by now, but we're gonna go over it just for the sake of the video. Uh, it sells for 500 bells at Nook's Cranny. It is a large shadow size and is found all day in the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere. And January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. So, very easy to get. It sells for 500 bells. It's a large shadow. It's pretty much stationary, so you don't have to chase after it. It's kind of like the seaweed, though. It's honestly, this is the sea bass of the ocean, to be honest. Not the seaweed. The seaweed sucks. It's a, it's actually worse than the seaweed because the seaweed sells for 600 bells and then the sea anemone only sells for 500. So that's kind of stupid. I think I just realized that. Alright, that is weird. Next up we got the moon jellyfish. Now you can get the moon jellyfish. It sells for 600 bells in Nuxcranny. It's a small shadow size. Um, you can catch it all day in the months of July, August, and September in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, and March in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, so this thing, pretty common as well. The other ones, not too bad to get. Obviously, if it's under a thousand bells, it's most likely going to be common. Next up, we got the sea slug. Now, the sea slug, uh, you can catch... Sea Slug it sells for 600 bells at Nook's Cranny. It is a small shadow size that is available all day in the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, so pretty much, this one's fairly easy to get. You'll be able to tell it's a Sea Slug because there's not many shadows that are this tiny. It's really tiny, so if you see a shadow, if you see bubbles coming up, and there's a really small one, it's most likely going to be a sea slug, because uh, it's available all year. It's always going to be a sea slug, pretty much, unless there's something else that, that time of year. But the, I believe this is the only really small one that's available all year. Next up, we got the Pearl Oyster. Now, the Pearl Oyster uh, is actually pretty good. It's not too too rare, but it sells for a lot of money. It's 2,800 bells at Nick's Cranny. It is a medium shadow size, and it's found all day. In the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. So it's available pretty much all the time. Actually, it is all the time available. Uh, medium shadow is 2,800 bells, so this thing is actually not bad. So if you're ever hunting other stuff and you come across one of these things, I suggest keep it in your pocket because there's not many things uh, more... It's worth a lot, so I suggest you keep it with you, unless you find something else better. Next, we got the mussel. Now, the mussel. Mussel is pretty good overall. It's no more stuff. Anyway, uh, it sells for 1,500 bells at Nook's Cranny. It is a small shadow size. It is available all day in the months of June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, April, May, June, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. So, pretty interesting combo right there. It is... Not too bad either, but it does sell for a good amount of bells. I think this this is pretty common for a thing that sells for that much. It's kind of like the Red Snapper. It sells for a lot when it really shouldn't because it's so common. But it's good that it does, so definitely pick up some of these. Uh, you can 
sell them for a decent amount of price. Um, so definitely we get a lot of them. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty reliable to get. Next we have the regular oyster. The just the oyster. We have the oyster. So we have the so we have the oyster and the oyster you can get. It sells for 1,100 bells. It looks cranny is a small shadow size and avail is available all day in the months of January, February, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere and March in the months of March, April, May, June, July, and August in the Southern Hemisphere. So this this sea creature, I don't remember it being too terribly hard to catch, but I feel like if it's, you, there, it could be problematic. It's not too bad though, it's not too terribly bad, but I mean, it could be. Like, don't get your hopes up, it's not like, it's definitely not common, but it's definitely not rare either. It's just kind of in between. Next up we have the scalp. Now the scalp, obviously this is probably one of the most important ones to get. You can actually, obviously you can, if you have an empty space in your pocket, when you catch the scallop, um, an extra empty space, pocket at least one you can uh pascal show up and then he'll ask you for the scalp you can either say yes or no if you give it to him he'll give you either a mermaid recipe in return or a pearl if you have uh, so that's kind of interesting very interesting um uh secret anyways if you do decide to sell them at the uh, nook's cranny um, they are worth 1,200 bells in Nook's Cranny, and they are medium shadow size, and they are available all day in the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere, so, yeah, it's not too terribly rare either, it's kind of about, it's kind of in the same boat as the oyster, it's not rare, it's not common, if it was too common, the Pascal stuff would just be not a thing. If it was too rare, the Pascal thing would also not be a thing. But I think it makes more sense for it to be rarer than not. But still, it's not too rat, too bad, and that's obviously good for your case. Uh, next up, we have the next up we have the whelk. The whelk, whelk, whelk. I'm just gonna say whelk. That's how you say it. Whelk is very common overall. I catch a lot of these things. They're pretty much an annoyance when you're looking for rare things. Uh, they sell for 1,000 bells in its cranny. Honestly, gonna throw this out there. I did not realize they sold for that much. I might start keeping these things. Uh, small shadow size available all day in the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere. And January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, so yeah, pretty common. But thousand bells, not bad. I'm gonna admit. Next up, we have the turban shell. The turban shell. The thing about the tur turban shell is. It's pretty common also. A lot of these things are really common. The ones at the end are really rare. They're the secret creature things. You have the really rare ones that take several hours to get, and then you have the common ones, which uh, the turban shell does fall into that category. Um, so it sells for a thousand bells in Nook's Cranny. It is a small shadow size and is available all day in the months of March, April, May, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and the months of March, April, May, June, July, uh, and the months of March, April, May, June, Okay, let's restart. The months of March, April, May, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and the months of March, April, May, June, September, October, and November in the Southern Hemisphere. So kind of an interesting combo. Different for the turban shell. Moving on to the abalone. Now the abalone, this thing is pretty decent overall. It's, it's kind of about in the same boat as the scallop and the oyster as we talked about earlier. It's not too rare and it's not really common. It's just kind of in the middle. Um, either way, the abalone sells for 1,000 bells at Nook's Cranny. I mean, it's pretty useful. Uh, same thing as the whelk and the um, turban shells we just talked about. But there's a medium shadow size and is available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. in the months of January, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. So that's for the abalone. Next up we have the Gigas Giant Clam. Now, the Gigas Giant Clam. This one is kind of bull crap. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out here because this thing I've caught several times by major coincidence. Every time I catch this thing is when I'm not looking for it. And whenever I look for it, I never find it. But it is on the rarer side of things. This is one of the rarest 
sea creatures in the entire game, the Gigas Giant Clam. Um, definitely, when you pull this thing out of the water, it looks sick. It doesn't scare me as much as the spider crab does, but it's awesome nonetheless. And as you can tell, I don't think it sells for enough. It only sells for 1,500 bells. It looks crammy. Which is kind of stupid in my opinion because I feel like it's way rarer than that. But, I mean, they're always fun to catch regardless. Uh, they are a huge set shadow size. They're available all day in the months of May, June, July, August, and September in the Northern Hemisphere. And January, February, March, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. And moving on to the Chamber Nautilus. Uh, the Chamber Nautilus. Chamber Nautilus. Chamber Nautilus. Whatever it's called. Chambered Nautilus. Uh, anyway. So this thing... Uh, not too rare at the uh, same time can be, but I usually catch a good amount of these things when I'm looking for other things. So for 1,800 bells and looks cranny, and that doesn't really make sense to me because the Gigas Giant Clam sells for way more, 300 less than the Chamber Nautilus. But I think the Gigas Giant Clam is way, way more rare than this thing is. Uh, anyways, it's a medium shadow size and it is available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. in the months of March, April, May, June, September, October, and November in the Northern Hemisphere, and the months of March, April, May, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. So, wang! Moving on to the octopus. And the octopus, decently common overall. Not really much else to say. I mean, it is just an octopus, but it's pretty common. Shouldn't have much trouble finding it. And, uh, so, I tried giving it to Zucker, uh, he didn't really do anything, it was just kind of normal, because the thing is, you would think that he would at, be weird because it's, like, an octopus, I'm giving him an octopus, a pet, he's kind of like an octopus, keeping a captive octopus, and he doesn't care. Anyway, so it's for 1,200 bells and nooks, cranny is a medium shadow size, it's available all day in the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, December, time, bleh. September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. So that is the octopus. Next up, we go up to the Umbrella Octopus. This is the rarer version of the uh, octopus. This thing is kind of decently rare. It definitely serves problematic in most cases. Um, it's pretty, pretty freaking rare. I don't know if it's rare as the... Gigas Giant Clam, it might be a little bit rarer, honestly. I think this might be the rarest one we've talked about so far. It sells for 6,000 bells at Nook's Cranny, which is a lot. Small shadow size, available all day in the months of March, April, May, September, October, and November in the Northern Hemisphere. And in the months of January, February, March, April, uh, not January. And, uh, March, it's, a, uh, it's available in the months of March, April, May, September, October, and November in the Northern Hemisphere. And in the months of March, April, May, uh, October, November, and December. No! God dang it, I'm messing it up. I'm sorry. March, April, May, September, October, and it's November in the Northern Hemisphere, and in the months of March, April, May, September, October, and November in the Southern Hemisphere. There we go. So pretty much the same for all. Honestly, not too bad to catch, but it is, actually, it's really hard to catch, but it's available all day, so it's not that too bad. Next up, we have the Vampire Squid. Now, the Vampire Squid, this one's pretty hard to catch. I was pretty... I was actually at a restaurant when I first caught this, I think. So that was kind of fun. Uh, anyway, it's available. It, it sells for a grand total of 10,000 bells at Nook's Crane. 10,000 bells at Nook's Crane, that's a lot. It's a lot of money. Uh, Medium-sized shadows available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. in the months of May, June, July, and August in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Vampire squid. Pretty rare, but I don't think it's as rare. I mean, it's pretty rare, but at the same time, it's not the rarest thing out there. Hmm. 10,000 bells is definitely... I don't think it should be worth that much, but, I mean, it is, so that's awesome. Next up is going to be the firefly squid. Firefly squid is way rarer than it needs to be. It doesn't need to be this rare. Um, it seems like I never find these that much. I mean, this is the last one that I got. This is the last one that I got. And, uh... I don't really know why, but... It's just... It's just kind of rare for some reason. Anyways, it's up for 1,400 bells at Nook's Cranny. It is a tiny shadow. And it's available from 9 p 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. So it's kind of like a little later than the other ones, or earlier. Um, and it's available in the months of March, April, May, and June in the um, 
northern hemisphere and in the months of September, October, November, and December in the southern hemisphere. That's Firefly Squid. Then we got to the Gazami Crab. The Gazami Crab. Gazami, Gazami, Gazami Crab. This thing is not very rare. Um, it's not too rare. Um, it is rarer than a lot of the other, like, really common things, but it's not the rarest crab. It's probably the most common crab. Either the Gazami or Dungness crab, one of the two, because for how rare crabs normally are, the Gazami crab, the Gazami crab is probably the most common out of the crabs that exist. Maybe the Dungness crab is more common, but I think the Gazami crab is the most common. Anyhow, it sells for 2,200 bells in Nook's Cranny. Is a medium-sized shadow. is available all day in the months of June, July, August, September, October, and November in the Northern Hemisphere. And in the months of January, February, March, April, May, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. So next up we have the Dungness Crab, which I was just talking about the Dungness Crab. It's pretty common for a crab too, but it does sell for a decent price at... 1,900 bells, so it does sell for less than the Gazami Crab, so I th think it is more common than the Gazami Crab, or at least the game wants you to think that. There's a medium shadow size available all day in the months of January, February, March, April, May, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and in the months of May, June, July, August, September, October, and November in the Southern Hemisphere. The Dungness Crab, obviously, not that bad. Moving on to the Snow Crab. Now, a Snow Crab, especially if you're looking for this, is one of the rare crabs a lot of the crabs in this game are really rare this is one of the really rare ones i don't think it is the rarest one the rarest is probably the red king crab but this one probably the second rarest crab it's more it's rarer than the spider crab it's more common than the red king crab and it's obviously rarer than the gizami crab and dungness crab as we just talked about but either way this thing does sell for a good 6,000 bells in its cranny, so definitely worth it. Buy is a large shadow. This is available all day in the months of January, February, March, April, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and in May, June, July, August, September, and October in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, my bad. So the snow crab, obviously pretty cool when you catch it. Moving on to the red key crab. This is, without a doubt, the rarest crab, or the hardest crab to get, in my opinion. Um, I don't actually 100% know how much they sell for. They sell for 8,000 bells in Nook's Cranny, uh, so not as much as you think it would. It is a large shadow, and is available all day in the months of crap. In the months of January, February, March, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and in the months of May, June, July, August, and September in the Southern Hemisphere. So, uh, yeah. uh if you haven't noticed already, the months swap. I'm not even, like, reading off the list. I just know the months swap, so... For the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere, January and July swap, February and August swap, March and September swap, April and October swap, May and November swap, June and, and June and December swap for, for each one. So if you didn't know that, that's that. So also, Red, Red King Crab took me three hours to get. A good three hours, which is very stupid. Next we have the Acorn Barnacle. Kind of a weird spot to put on, the, on here, to be honest. Because the thing is, they put it like, I feel like it should be at the end. Like, they, they have all the crabs here. The Gazami crab, Dungus crab, Snow crab, <laughs> and Red King crab. But they didn't put the spider crab there, which is kind of weird because they didn't do that before. Anyway, we have the acorn barnacle. The acorn barnacle, stupid easy. I don't even really need to go over this thing. 600 bells is a tiny shadow, about the same size as the sea slug. And it is available in, all day in the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Not much else to say. Moving on to the spider crab. Now, this thing is honestly the the coolest thing to pull up out of the water, in my opinion. This is probably my favorite sea creature, if I was really being honest. I've caught a lot of these things. They're by no means common. They're just more common. They're more. Co it's more common than the red king crab and the um, the red king crab and the snow crab, as we just talked about. But it is r rarer than the gazami crab and dungness crab. So obviously the crab. So this thing, the uh, it sells for a good price at twelve thousand bells, which is actually insane. 
for how common it is, it is definitely, it's kind of like the Great White Shark, because the Great White Shark is really easy to get, and it's also 15,000 bells, or, I mean, the Spider Crab is by no means easy to get, it's just wet, it's definitely not worth 12,000, which is actually amazing, because if you, if you can get your hands on a lot of these things, you can get 12,000 bells pretty easily. Like, if you even get two of these, that's already 20,000. But if you get just five of these, it's already 60,000 bells. Like, that is insane for just catching stuff. Anyhow, it's a huge shadow, and it's available all day in the months of March and April in the Northern Hemisphere, and September and October in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, so it is very elusive. I think it is the creature that is available in the least months of the sea creatures. I don't think there are any that are available in only one month, because for the fish, the cam salmon and king salmon are only available in September. And then for the bugs, only the fireflies available in June. I don't know if there's only one for the sea creature or not, but I don't think there are. Next up is the tiger prawn. Tiger prawn, not too bad to get either. It is by no means common, but it is definitely uh, more common than a lot of the other ones that we went over. Um, at least the, in the past couple ones we've been over. Not the original ones. It says for 3,000 bells in Nook's Cranny, it is a small shadow size that is available all day in the months of June, July, August, and September in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Moving on to the Sweet Shrimp. The Sweet Shrimp uh, is like pretty much a smaller version of the Tiger Prawn. Not too bad to get, but can be problematic in some circumstances, as we've already discussed before. Now it is a uh, it sells for three thousand bells in Nook's cranny, and it is a small shadow size. It is available all day in the months of January, February, September, October, November, and December in the northern hemisphere, and in the months of March, April, May, June, July, and August in the southern hemisphere. Then we on to the mantis shrimp. Now the mantis shrimp is actually pretty pretty easy to get, but yet satisfying to get because. They sell for the solid price of 1,400 bells for how common they are. And it's a small shadow size. Oh, I, I was wrong. I was reading the wrong thing. Okay, my bad. The sweet shrimp is actually 1,400 bells. Not the, uh, not 3,000. Anyway. Oh, yeah, and the sweet shrimp is available um, from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. I didn't mess. Uh, sorry, sorry to mess you up there. Anyway, I'm out to the mantis shrimp. I'll have to redo the timestamp for that one. Uh, uh, mantis shrimp sells for solid price of two thousand five hundred bells in the screen, which is actually really good for how common, how decently common it is. It's a small shadow size. It's well from four p.m. to nine a.m. in the months of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December, and in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. <coughs> so pretty solid overall to get the mantis shrimp. Moving on to the spiny lobster. Now the spiny lobster, this thing's pretty kind of obnoxious to get, to, to try to get, because it's kind of pretty decently rare. And it sells for 5,000 bells in Nook's Cranny. It's a large shadow size. And it's available from 4 p.m. to or 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. in the months of October, November, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and April, May, and June in the Southern Hemisphere. Moving on to the lobster, the regular lobster. Good old lobster. So you have this, you get this spiny lobster, and then you have the lobster. So anyway. This bad boy. I um not too bad. Actually, I think he is pretty rare to get, so sorry about that, but he is. Um so So it's for five thousand bells in a cranny, which you can probably already tell that's uh definitely gonna be rare. Uh small shadow. Small shadow? What? That can't be right. Apparently this site says small shadow. It's probably not small shadow, but just go with small shadow. It's available all day in the months of January, April, May, June, and December in the Northern Hemisphere, and in the months of June, July, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere, so kind of all over the place. 
<clears throat> Dang it. Next we have the giant isopod. Now this thing can be pretty hard to get. It's definitely pretty cool when you catch your first one though. Anyway, it is um it says for 12,000 bells and nooks so the same amount of this, as the spider crab. So this thing is really valuable. It is worth going out of hut for. It's worth it. Anyway, medium sized shadow. Available twice during the day, available from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. and then again from 19 or 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, it's available in the months of July, August, September, and October in the Northern Hemisphere. In the months of January, February, March, and April in the Southern Hemisphere. Next, we move on to the horseshoe crab. Now, the horseshoe crab, I really want to get, get another one of these because I can put it on the beach or whatever. And it looks really good. Anyway, uh, horseshoe crab is not too rare. Uh, they're pretty fun to catch, though. They're kind of rare, though. Uh, they suffer 2,500 bells in Nook's Cranny. They are a medium. They suffer 2,500 bells. They are uh, 2,500 bucks. They uh, medium shadow, 2,500 bucks. Uh, medium shadow, they are uh, available from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. in the months of July, August, and September in the Northern Hemisphere, and January, February, and March in the Southern Hemisphere. Next up to the sea pineapple. I kind of forgot about the sea pineapple because this thing was one of the, uh, it's pretty common and annoying to get. Uh, anyhow, it sells for total. Uh, let's see here. 1,500 bells at Nook's Granny. It is a uh, small shadow size. Actually, let's redo that. Uh, see pineapple. Let's see pineapple. Yeah, we all know the drill. Uh, sells for 1,500 bells. Uh, crap. Let's redo that again. All right. Anyway, we get so uh, see pineapple. It sells for 1,500 bucks. It um, you know, small shadow size. Uh, available all day in the months. That is wrong. This site lies. Available in the months of April, May, June. July and August in the Northern Hemisphere, and the months of January, February, October, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Next up is the Spotted Garden Eel. I completely forgot about this one too. It's one of the other ones, Spotted Garden Eel. Um, pretty common as well. Uh, it does suffer a decent price of 1,100 bells. It is a small shadow size, as you know. Uh, they sell for, they're available from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. So pretty much all day. Uh, I'm probably not gonna have a bunch of problems getting them. They are available in the months of uh, May, June, July, August, September, and October in the Northern Hemisphere, and in the months of January, February, March, April, November, and December in the Southern Hemisphere. Next we have the flatworm, and this the flatworm's decently rare, or decently. Decently rare. Um, should it be too terribly hard to get? This one is also only available for two months. So that's interesting. So anyway, the flatworm sells for 700. Uh, it's a tiny shadow. It's available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. in the months of August and September in the Northern Hemisphere and February and March in the Southern Hemisphere. Now the last one is the Venus fire, uh, the Venus's flower basket. Uh, so Venus's flower basket uh, sells for oh, crap. Very rare, one of the rarest ones. Uh, not the rarest, but one of the rarest. It sells for five thousand bells in its cranny. It is a medium-sized shadow. It is available all day in the months of January, February, October, November, and December in the southern hemisphere, in the northern hemisphere, and in the months of April, May, June, July, and August in the southern hemisphere. So that's all these sea creatures. Uh, pretty much for about half the time for the bug fish so thank you guys for watching be sure to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye humans